Hi, my name is Jeff Axel. I'm the Chief of Visitor Services and Partnerships here at Grand Canyon Parishant National Monument in Arizona. I'm here today to talk about the Appreciate AZ Principles. Plan ahead and prepare. So one of the things that surprises folks when they come to Parishant is how rough some of the roads can be. This is not a place to bring your car, your minivan, or your RV. You really need a high clearance 4x4 vehicle, like a pickup truck or a higher SUV than your typical stock vehicle. So when it comes to the type of tire you need, the best tire is an all-terrain tire. And that's a reinforced tire. It's got a lot of steel bands in it for structural stability, but it's made out of a rubber that's actually more pliable. It bends, which you need when you're going over sharp rocks. You want that tire to flex. One of the things that also surprises people is that you don't just come out here and get one flat tire, sometimes you get two. That is one of the biggest things that trips up our visitors here. Things that we strongly recommend that you have in your 4x4 vehicle coming out here, you're gonna want at least one spare tire that matches the tires that are on your vehicle. If you have the capacity for two spare tires, we recommend that as well. So other equipment to have, of course, if you're gonna be changing that tire, you need your jack. Folks also find, especially with pickup trucks, lug nuts are so tight when they're put on at the tire shop that some people don't have the strength to actually work that crowbar. So make sure you can do that or have somebody in your group that can. Other things to have for safety gear is gonna be, let's say you are stranded. You can't count on somebody coming by to help you. Sometimes people are out here for days before another vehicle comes by. And do you have food, water, medical supplies, sleeping equipment if it's cold or if it's hot? Do you have sunblock? Do you have shade, a way to make shade? So another thing with that too is don't leave your vehicle. Stay with your vehicle if you're stranded because that's gonna offer you some amount of shade. Also, it's really easy to see a car from a search plane. It's not so easy to see a person hiking through the desert. When people come out to Parachant, one of the things that they find that really surprises them because it's, it's everywhere almost in our country today is cell phone service. When you come out here, you're not gonna see any bars on your phone because there's no cell service out here. To call for help, you need a satellite phone or a satellite messenger. These devices communicate with satellites and can communicate with the outside world. In the different seasons, you're going to have different road conditions. One of the things that we have, especially in the early spring and winter or during the monsoon season all summer long, are very muddy conditions. This mud is special. It's not like mud that most people are used to. It's very much like peanut butter and it'll get stuck into any tire. So we ask folks to just wait until conditions dry and then you can drive on these roads. If you do want up-to-date road conditions, call us at 435-688-3200, Monday through Friday, 8 to 430, and we can provide information that we have, but it's not going to be comprehensive. There's over a thousand miles of roads just in Parishant alone, over 6,000 miles of road across the entire Arizona Strip, and we don't know what folks will find out there, so it's up to the visitor to be ready for any condition. One of the things we tell folks, if it looks bad now, if you're outside your comfort zone, don't keep going, turn around, because it's not gonna get better if you keep going. You're gonna go further and further into even worse conditions. When people come out here, they sometimes get stuck. And a lot of times, the reason they get stuck is they pushed into conditions they weren't prepared for. If you do find yourself in a situation where you are stuck, just stay put. And hopefully you've told somebody back home where you're going and when you're coming back so that when you don't come back, they can send help and they would do that by calling the Public Lands Information Center. One of the other issues we've been facing is some of the uh, mapping software that people have in their phones are directing people looking for the Grand Canyon out into Parishant. Yes, the Grand Canyon is here, but most people, 99% of people, they're looking for the paved roads and viewpoints with handrails that you find at Grand Canyon National Park. That's a separate park from Grand Canyon Parishant National Monument. Thanks for listening to me today. Uh, we hope to see you out here at Parishon. If you've got the right equipment and are prepared for the conditions and know what you're getting into, we'd be more than happy to help you plan your trip. This is a beautiful place to come for those who are prepared.